You're welcome back. It's good to know that you're still there and watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Well, like we said at the beginning, experts say small businesses drive the economy. But as much as people want to go into business, there is this question, this issue of deciding what type of company to set up and the likely challenges. And so today we want to look at uh, what are these challenges? What kind of company do we need to have? What are the things that need to go into that business? And we're lucky to have a business consultant here uh, joining us on the show. Tolani uh, Thomas Allison is a business consultant. She's talking to us from the UK. Good morning and welcome to the program, Tolani. Good morning, Yambu. Thank you for having me. Okay, uh, well, I thought for a moment that you have jackpot and left the Nigeria <laughs> shows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid to turn by coastal, so I'm here and I'm there, but I'm here for you. Okay, so um, the economy is very biting and everybody wants a side hustle and all that, um, but setting up a business is a challenge. We do not even know how, wh what you need to put into uh, that business to make it stand. And you being a consultant, we're, we're just curious. Uh, what type of decisions do you need to make uh, when you're setting up a company or any business uh, from your experience uh, with yourself and others who have come to you for consultations? Um, thank you so much for that. So, so I, I always advise people that are looking to start new businesses to start businesses that they already have experience in. So if you're starting a business as a side also to your nine to five, it's always best to start a business that you have some experience in. Maybe, for example, you're working at a large um, commercial company, like an online commercial company. It's best for you to start a business, maybe like a fashion business or an accessory sale business, things like that. Something that is adjacent to the skills that you already have. So it won't be a hard transition for you to move into business so it can be something that you can start on a side with your nine to five and gradually transition into um, running the business full time that's what i would advise all right so should you start also by registering the company or you just go ahead and start anyway okay so sometimes we have um ideas that sound great um, on paper or that sound great when you first have the idea, but in reality, it might not be something that will work out. So I, I would advise, like, for the first three months of the business, try it out and see if you're going to get clients. If you run a business for five months or for three months um, and you get five clients, that's something. That means that the business is viable. If you have people that are willing to pay for what you're doing, whether it's a retail business or it's a service business, um, you have the validation that there's customers available for you, then you can go ad ad ahead to register the business name and do all the setup. But first, test and ensure that there's a market for you, that there are customers willing to pay for what um, your business idea is. Do the research first. Um, I use like at least three months, three to six months to test the market to see if there are customers available for you before going ahead to register the business name. All right, now that we're talking about registering the business name, let's also bring in the issue of trademarking. Uh, that's mm. something I have come to realize that many people are really not so aware of. Uh, they're not so aware of how important it is to trademark a name. Talk to mm. us about trademarking vis-a-vis -vis registering uh, your business company. Okay, thank you for that question. I actually had this conversation with an entrepreneur yesterday who owns a food business that four other people are using the same business name as him. And he was the first person to start the business. So trademarking is something that um, you typically would do if you were in a first world country like the US or the UK because you need to trademark your name so that nobody else can use that name to trade, right? But with businesses in Nigeria, we we operate in an economy that people, people don't regard such um, you know, concepts. Like they feel like trademark is, okay, you're trying to stop my shine. You've built your own business. I'm trying to run a similar business to you. And you believe that, okay, because you started the name or you started a business first with that name, somebody else can't trade in that name. Trademark is absurd to most average Nigerian business owners, but it's something that we have to take into consideration because you find that most of the time people can use um, the fact that Trademark is not taken seriously in Nigeria to set up businesses that will run parallel to your business and be making money based on the goodwill that you've built with your own business name. So for trademarking, I would advise, you know, if you're serious, serious about your business and you're really looking to grow in the next five, ten years, you should go and trademark the name in Nigeria. Um, we thank God that, you know, there's still some laws that apply 
in Nigeria to trademarking. So trademarking the name in Nigeria would keep you safe from anyone infringing on, you know, your business name or using your, a similar business name to trade um, in a similar industry and make money and profit from the marketing efforts that you've done in your business. So I, I would advise businesses that, that have, you know, that have the intention to grow in the next five to 10 years to trademark their business name to avoid, you know, infringements or issues of people using the business name to scam other customers. So yes, I would advise that. Okay. Um, earlier on, you talked about uh, testing your business before you get it registered so that you know that there's validation, you will have customers and all those are the words you used. Uh, I'm interested in what your checklist will be like. What are the parameters that you use to, to check, to test that business to see that it's going to be a viable business. What are some mm. of the things that will be uh, okay. on your list? Um, so what I would test first of all is when I have a when there's a new business idea. What I would do personally is I would tell at least three people that I know every day for the next thirty days that I have a, this new business idea and this is what I want to do. So I would write out what the business idea is. Okay, this is what I want to do. I want to start selling fish, for example. And I'll tell three people for the next 30 days, that's 90-something 90, 90 people. You should know 90 people, right? So tell them about it, you know, get their opinions on what they think about it and if they will patronize you. If they say, oh, they're interested in seeing what you do with the business, um, get their names, get their, uh, you have their names already, I apologize. Get their numbers and emails and document it, you know, write it down so that you know, okay, I have these 90 people that are interested in my business. So that's you doing market research, first of all, to understand that there's a demand for your products. So if you don't do the market research, I wouldn't advise that you start the business. Most people start business, open a store, and wonder why people are not coming because you didn't do the research first. And then you're going to have to start struggling to get customers into the store, you know, to your website, etc. So do the research first and build a minimal customer base from your existing contact contact list and then your five for first your first five customers give them some form of discounts that you know can get them in the door to patronize you and then when those customers patronize you make sure that you wow them that you know you deliver exceptional services to them you sell products you give you know added customer value make sure that they are wowed and then get their reviews when you get those people's reviews and they send in their reviews it might be a video review or a text review i say oh this person, I, I use their services or I bought a product from them and it was great. Screenshot it, whether it's a WhatsApp message or ask them to fill a Google rev review form, whatever it is, just make sure you obtain that review. Then not use that review from those customers to start your marketing. So those are the first few steps I would take if I'm starting a new business today. Tolani, talk to someone who has a shy personality, you know, mm. an introverted personality. Because what you just said sounds really good, but someone who is introverted or who is shy would say, I don't like to talk to people. I wouldn't want to disturb people and tell them. Talk to someone who has that personality yet is interested in building a business. Um, so I, I do get this with clients that they come to me and say, that, you know, they can't go for networking events because it might be awkward for them or they're shy to talk to strangers. Um, the first thing I would say is if you're starting business as a CEO, you are the chief sales officer. You are the number one person that would lead the sales team to sell your services and your products. So you have to step out of your comfort zone. Um, introverted entrepreneurs always find ways to sell their products regardless. Um, but I would advise if you're shy and you're introverted and you're not, you know, go, go, rah, rah like I am. Um, I would advise that you try networking online. So when you when you're networking online, there's you know the internet to hide behind essentially, and you can you know network on LinkedIn, network on Instagram. You know go to pages of people that have a similar target audience to you. The type of customers you're looking for, follow these people. You know comment on their posts, reshare their posts. You know network with them, send them DMs and say, oh, I like what you're doing. And, you know, I would like to, you know, support you in whatever way I can. So I'll be sharing your post or I'll be commenting on your post from um, now and henceforth. So there are ways you can network without leaving your house. Thank God for the Internet today. Um, so you can go on LinkedIn, try to meet people, send them DMs. So I'm looking to connect. Um, this is what I do and this is how I do it. You can go on Instagram as well, on Twitter. Now you can network with 
the entire world from the comfort of your home. So people that are shy and introverted don't have to leave their houses to build a business. You can build a business from the comfort of your house um, by using the power of the internet. Networking on Instagram, on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Um, you would be able to build a customer base that is interested in your products and your services by leveraging what you have at your disposal, the internet. Okay, uh, our time is limited, uh, Tolani, but um, I, I'm interested also in the fact that you are, you run a consulting business, a consultancy, is that how you call it? Your people come to you for advice. Uh, yeah. Tell us what companies like yours uh, do to help people who are trying to go into business or who are in business and struggling? What kind of services um, will someone who is trying to do business well get from a consulting firm like yours? Because some people may be interested. They have the plan. They have everything in their head that is looking so good. But they need someone to translate that into an actionable plan. So what is obtainable in consultancies like yours? Okay, thank you for that, Yamgo. Um, so what we do um, at our consulting company, Halis Consults, is that we can help you develop a business plan, a roadmap for you to get started in business. So we develop a business plan based on the business idea that you have and develop action points that you can take. So we develop a business plan with an actionable plan that we would help you execute your business idea in a way that you know would be easy for you to execute based on the kind of person that you are or the kind of structure that you are uh, you have already and we'll give you the steps that you need to take to build a viable business in the next one to three months so how we can help with um you having a business idea looking to set up is by giving you a business plan an actionable business plan as a business roadmap for you to get started in your business today. Do you help people or are you capable of helping people who do not actually have business plans? They are not focused about any kind of business. They are not sure what field or line to tow. Can you help such persons find focus? Yes, we can. So we can have you know a consulting session just to understand what their interests are, and what you know they are passionate about or what experiences they have um the skills that they have already would be good to leverage on those skills and experience to be able to develop a business idea for them so yes we can definitely help people that don't have um business ideas of their own to craft what they will be interested in and what they can you know focus on building for the next one to five years so we would you know listen to their ideas their passion their skills listen to what their experiences um etc and then help them develop a business plan. So we develop the business plan for the company and then assist them in executing that business plan. And when we feel like, okay, they are capable of running the business on their own, we hands off and then we wish them all the best. Okay. So yeah, we, we can help with people that don't have business ideas okay. of their own. Tolani, just yes or no. Uh, do, you also, do you also have the capability of pointing people to where they can get money? To start a business you know this is my favorite topic yes okay <laughs> okay thank you it's, it's good well uh to learn thomas allison business consultant thank you so much for talking with us this morning it's always a pleasure to have you thank you for your time okay all right we've been talking with uh, uh Tolani Thomas Allison, business consultant, uh, talking to us from uh, UK, but um, he, she is in Lagos. And like her, there are so many other consulting firms that uh, are in Lagos. So if you have an idea, you do well to meet them. We'll take a break. And when we return, we'll be joined by Mudashiro Shitu to take us around the world of sports. Stay with us. <laughs>